Welcome in once again to another edition of Where the 99 Lead. I'm Andrew Joyce, your host. Where the 99 Lead, it's a journey that takes you up the 99 steps, those historic 99 steps to the campus of the University of Pikeville, but also lead from campus into the world. We talk all things regarding the University of Pikeville on this program, athletics, academics, and today we'll, we'll focus on admissions and open registration coming up very soon. Our guest today, Amber Collins, with a new title, the Director of Admissions at the University of Pikeville. Welcome in. Thank you, Andrew. A new title, when did that come to be? July 1st, I became the Director of Admissions. And you take over the role of? Gary Justice. Gary moves into a new position at the university. We want to make clear that uh, Gary Justice is still a huge yes. part of the University of Pikeville, mm -hmm. but Amber moves into a new position. Amber, you've been on the program before mm -hmm. uh, with Gary uh, yes. many times talking about admissions. Now you're the Director of Admissions. And for those that are just tuned in that don't know Amber Collins, mm -hmm. let's introduce you and get some bio information. Okay. My name is Amber Collins. I went to the University of Pikeville for four years. Um, I loved it here, so I did not want to leave. So as soon as I graduate, I was fortunate enough to get um, a job here as an admissions counselor. I recruited for six years, and now this is my seventh recruiting season, and now I'm the director of admissions. So, You've been on the road yes. for mm -hmm. those six years. And of course, uh, as many do, they come to the University of Pikeville, the Pikeville community, and, and don't want to leave. It's a place that mm -hmm. a lot of folks fall in love with, but in particular, the University of Pikeville. Six years in admissions, you've been on the road quite a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, any idea how many counties you've touched? All the counties that we recruit in, I have recruited those areas. I've been to Owsley, Powell County, over into Virginia, West Virginia. I've seen it all. And of course, the University of Pikeville focusing on a, a certain region. We'll talk about that a little bit today, uh, where the primary focus is when admissions counselors are recruiting mm -hmm. students. And uh, that area is ever widening, yes. it is something we've found. Uh, several states throughout the country, now we're seeing uh, international students as well on campus. So uh, recruiting truly is going worldwide at the University of Pikeville. We want to talk about open registration today. Mm -hmm. It takes place every uh, semester at the University of Pikeville. And uh, UPIKE's open registration for students. What are the dates for the fall semester? Um, open registration this year will be on a Thursday and Friday, August 15th and 16th. And we'll be starting at 8 o'clock and we won't go home until the last person leaves. If someone shows up five minutes till five mm -hmm. on a Friday, last minute effort at the buzzer, they slide in and they're able to get registered for classes this fall. We hope that students won't put things off mm -hmm. that long. There have been several opportunities throughout yeah. the course of the summer and uh, throughout the, the course of the spring to get registered for the fall semester, but uh, it is upon us now, mm -hmm. less than two weeks away. And I know it's always an exciting time when a new semester begins, and in particular, the fall semester. Yes. Because that's when you see the, the high school students making that transition, mm -hmm. making that first step toward adulthood. For those that don't know, they've never taken part. Maybe a first generation college student. What takes place at open registration? Well, we've worked diligently this year to get open registration more efficient for the students um, so they don't have to be running all over campus. So this year, open registration will take place in the Armington building across the bridge. Everything will be on the fourth floor, which is really nice. Um, the students won't have to go anywhere else. They can just come to the fourth floor. It's a simple seven-step process this year, and they can basically do everything on the fourth floor. You have step one, admission. Step two, you're gonna to get to see financial services. Step three, you'll see information technology, um, academic advising, the business office, security, and then student services. And you'll be on your way. And there are lots of staff and faculty there um, to guide you along your way. So you'll never not know what you're supposed to do. We'll be there guiding you. Let's take a look at the, each of those steps individually. First stop for someone coming to open registration mm -hmm. is admissions. Yes. What do they need to bring with them 
to open registration. And let's talk about that first stop admission. Okay. Because you've got to be admitted before you need the yes. other services. Well, first of all, you would have had to file an application. And if you haven't, you can do that when you arrive. That's totally fine. It's free to apply, so you can sit down and fill it out. Um, you can also apply online. So if you wanted to go ahead and apply online, you can do that. Coming in, especially as a transfer, if you have college transcripts that you need, sure. be prepared and have those with you. If you're coming in as an incoming freshman, make sure you have your high school transcripts and any college courses that you may have taken if you don't have those in already. Um, test scores, and that's basically it. With schools back in session, many of the schools mm -hmm. back in session, high school transcripts, that's easy to take mm -hmm. care of. Yes. College transcripts, if someone's de decided late in the summer that they now want to transfer, they don't want to go to the school they were at last semester for whatever reason, and they want to become a part of the University of Pikeville family, and they don't have those transcripts, is that a huge deal? It's not really a huge deal. I always take students right in my office. I'll say, let's look up the college or university you attended, and I will call them right there with sure. the student. Let them speak to someone in the registrar's office, and usually they can fax over a transcript to us immediately. Right. As long as we have that faxed copy, we can go ahead and get them through the process and then get the original official copy later. Whether a transfer or an incoming freshman, mm -hmm. the admissions process, everyone must complete an application. Yes. They can get that started online. Mm -hmm. Where do they find that? Um, you can just go to our website, www.upike.edu, and go to the admissions, and you make an account. It's very fast, and you just fill out the application, and it'll come straight to us. After the admissions people, the counselors, mm -hmm. take a look at the transcripts, the application is in place. Uh, what happens next? What, what are the basis for the admissions process for that student? Well, at UPike, we're a little special, of course. Um, we do not require you to have any certain requirements. You apply, have your transcripts, your test scores, and you will automatically be accepted. It's part of our mission from 1889. We want to educate people of Appalachia, sure. and we feel like putting stipulations there, you can't really educate people or give them the opportunity. So we don't have any guidelines for students to be accepted. So the opportunity's there. What the mm -hmm. student does with it is up to the student Correct. at that point, but an opportunity certainly given to educate our students at the University of Pikeville. Admissions number one. Mm -hmm. We've made it through the admissions mm -hmm. process. The application's complete. The transcripts are in place. Admission has taken place. Step two of the open registration. They will see student financial services, and this is where they will finalize anything. They should have already filed their FAFSA, sure. but if they haven't, we can stop what we're doing, take them to financial services office, and help them file their FAFSA online that day. It's really a short process. Yes, it is, especially with some help if somebody's completed it before but they're gonna meet with financial services staff and they will go through their financial aid package and break down dollar by dollar exactly how much they're gonna owe if anything and they'll know right there what to take place, loans or scholarships or anything like that. Very important stuff, of course, admissions and then someone's gotta pay for it. So yes. uh, uh, parents uh, be prepared for that uh, and I'm sure most parents that's been something that they have thought of, uh, mm -hmm. students they've probably dealt with it. They've heard these things before, in particular transfer students. Mm -hmm. That's step two of the, of the admissions process mm -hmm. of open registration. What's number three? Then they're gonna see information technology and this is where they will set up their account. They'll get an email address and passwords and different things like that. So that's where they will do all that important information. It's all very important these mm -hmm. days and times. Uh, it, it's as important as a birth certificate or a driver's it license, is. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that type of information. And uh, we're in the open registration process, August 15th and 16th, mm -hmm. and of course it all takes place in the Armington Science uh, Center. Mm -hmm. Is that still called the Armington Science Center? Armington Learning Center. Learning Center. Mm -hmm. I usually just say Armington. I'm, I'm going Short. back decades. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going back decades and I, I'm aging myself. Uh, as the name that we had grown up with right. in that process. Admissions, financial services, mm -hmm. IT, mm -hmm. next step in the Academic advising. This is something special about UPIKE. When you come in to register, each student is going to get an individual advisor. So just as you and I are talking right now, a student will get to sit with an advisor, a faculty member, and decide all the classes he or she is going to take and get themselves set on a track 
in which they can graduate on time. In particular, if a student has a major decided, mm -hmm. that is a much easier process. Yes. In, in particular for uh, underclassmen, freshmen and sophomore, uh, there are basic classes that follow majors mm -hmm. that are core requirements that right. must be taken care of. But even an undecided student that's coming in as, as a new freshman, mm -hmm. uh, there are basically core classes that need to be taken. But that academic advisor typically follows that student throughout their, yes. their time mm -hmm. on campus, doesn't it? Yes. They'll get a first chance to meet that advisor. and. Uh, as I've learned, as most students have, in particular at the University of Pikeville, those become special relationships. They do. Mm -hmm. They really do. And, and you say, well, it's just an academic advisor. Uh, we're just completing a schedule. Mm -hmm. We're following the, the course catalog. But relationships are formed because those advisors we also see in the classrooms. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that, those things happen at the University of Pikeville. Of course, it, uh, it is family. It here is. on the University of Pikeville campus. By the way, if you're tuned in today to this edition of Where the 99 Lead, of course, typically we come to you from studio. Today we're on campus at the University of Pikeville in the beautiful Walters Room on campus. And if you have time, sometime you're on campus, uh, stop by and visit the Walters Room. It's a little different setting and uh, we hope you enjoy it for this edition of Where the 99 Lead. We're joined by Amber Collins, Director of Admissions at the University of Pikeville, and open registration takes place August 15th and 16th for the fall semester, and that's in the Armington Learning Center. Uh, I guess we need to give folks directions there. Okay. New freshmen, transfer students, they may not know that building. Uh, everyone familiar with the coal building, the cruisers on Friday and Saturday nights, they know the coal yeah. building. They know, uh, uh, the main buildings facing downtown Pikeville, but Armington, it's a little, uh, little on the back yeah. side of campus. Mm -hmm. But if they were to travel to the parking garage, mm -hmm. how would they get to the Armington Science Center? Well, if you park in the parking garage, you can take the pedway over to Record Memorial Building. I call it the orangest color building, orangey yes. building. Yes. Um, once you get to the second floor in the Record Memorial Building, you'll take the elevator to the sixth floor. There's nowhere to go but to exit the building. Right. Once you've exited that building, you will be um, on Sycamore Street and you will just travel straight across campus past the administration building and you will see a big welcome sign for open registration. Uh, it will be marked well, I'm sure. Yes. Uh, those that maybe uh, are a little more familiar with the UPI campus, mm -hmm. Uh, Kentucky Avenue. There is parking yes. there. It's mm -hmm. not as plentiful as the parking garage, but there is parking on Kentucky mm -hmm. Avenue. And uh, if they want to walk the hill a little bit, get a little exercise, yeah. it walks right uh, to Armington Learning Center and to the bridge mm -hmm. that uh, goes across Kentucky Avenue. So a couple of ways to get there. Armington Learning Center, mm -hmm. that's the location for open registration. We've been through admissions, mm -hmm. financial services, yes. IT. Yes. Now, Academic advising, that's right. step four. Mm -hmm. Where next? Then you would um, visit the business office where you'd finalize everything with your bill. You have to sign some documents for FERPA reasons, allowing certain people to talk about your account and different things like that. That's a painless, quick process there. So that would be step number five. All right. And where do we go then? Then you go through our public safety and that's where you get a parking permit, which is free, I might add. You wow. don't have to pay to park on campus, um, but that's where you get your parking permit. And then you would visit Student Services and get your ID made with your picture. And that's the card you use to eat in um, City View Cafe and um, use in our coffee shop here on campus. Yes, which is a great new addition. Mm -hmm. And the cafe, uh, it, it's hard to call it a cafeteria. I know. Uh, because it's such a, a great addition, not just to UPikes campus, but so many members of the community yes. make it a regular mm -hmm. part of their work week is having lunch there. It's become a meeting place uh -huh, for members has. of the community uh, in downtown Pikeville and throughout the region to, uh, to have lunch there. It's a great part. You perked up when you talked about the ID. That's yes. an exciting part it of is. the process, isn't it? It makes it official. You know, you go home and say, Mom, Dad, I have my ID. That I know when I was in college, that's what made it official yes. to me. I have my card, my name's on it. I go to the University of Pikeville. Do you still have your first? I do not know where it is, I can honestly say. I remember how bad my hair looked though, so I probably... It was a bad hair time. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I, I can appreciate that. Yeah. I can appreciate that. I actually ran across my first college ID. Uh -huh. 
-huh. recently. Was it a good? A long time ago. It was on parchment. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, it was on parchment. But, <laughs> um, yeah, with a drawing. No, no pictures, though. <laughs> Uh, it was a long time ago, but uh, also then Pikeville College. Yeah. Uh, so uh, very good. We talked about open registration. That wraps up the process. Admissions, mm -hmm. make sure you get the application done. Online would be the best, wouldn't it? Um, you can fill it out in just a few seconds here, but you can do it online. If you're busy on the go and you can't come in, that's perfectly fine. Once they complete it online, I would imagine there's simply a submit button. Mm -hmm the admissions staff would already have that Great. in hand. Yes. Uh, admissions, financial services, mm -hmm. you, you'll need transcripts for admissions, financial, you'll need to have filed a FAFSA. Correct. IT, you'll get emails, you'll get all the important information, mm -hmm. passwords and such mm -hmm. that you're gonna need for your uh, time here at the University of right. Pikeville. And then from there, academic advising. You'll right. meet one of the most important people that you'll spend time with because it, it can certainly make a difference mm -hmm. in a college career, uh, the advising you get and uh, a great, great staff mm -hmm. of academic advisors here at the University of Pikeville. Then from there, academic advising. The business office. The business office, mm -hmm. that's important. Yes. Things have to be paid for. And then get your student ID, which uh, takes care of lunch and, mm -hmm. uh, and of course uh, a lot of events and a lot Correct. of places around yes. town. Events Discounts. you'll get free discounts throughout the, mm -hmm. the Bayer Nation. Yes. I, I think that's a great new program is uh, I've seen many businesses taking part throughout the community and beyond is mm -hmm. the Bayer Nation. You yes. see the orange and black uh, throughout the community and discounts offered mm -hmm. to U Pike students. So very important. We, something we haven't talked about, uh, it's not necessarily part of open registration, but something students will need to do and that's They'll need to take care of textbooks and supplies. Yes. And, uh, of course, that's on their own once registration mm -hmm. has been complete. Once they've picked up that ID card, mm -hmm. then head to the bookstore. And, and I know that's an exciting time for those students as well. You're tuned to Where the 99 Lead. I'm Andrew Joyce, joined by Amber Collins, Director of Admissions at the University of Pikeville. We talk about an exciting time at the University of Pikeville. The fall semester set to get underway. We're expecting another record enrollment uh, this fall, open registration takes place August 15th and 16th, and uh, that takes place in the Armington Science, excuse me, the Armington Learning Center on the University of Pikeville campus. Those of you that are old school, you know exactly where I'm talking about. Uh, we talk about open registration. We've been through the process. Mm -hmm. Sounds very simple. Mm -hmm. uh, there are some things that a student will need to have with them during that process, but uh, the admission staff, I know a great bunch. I've met, if not all, most mm -hmm. of the admission staff and the counselors, and, and what a tremendous job you do. I, I've seen these people in action, mm -hmm. and they are oh so helpful mm -hmm. with students. They answer questions of students and parents alike, mm -hmm. grandparents even, that yeah. maybe are part of the ad admissions process and helping that student through. What does the admissions staff uh, do to support incoming students and help ease that transition? Well, all of our staff, we've been there before. Everyone that works in the admissions office has graduated from the University of Pikeville, which right. I think is awesome. That's crazy good. It automatically gives you that love and you want to help other students. So coming in um, as a new freshman, the counselor that that student has worked with, we stay on campus at least two weeks after the first day of school to help those students get acquainted. We run around campus looking for them. Do you need anything? Um, we have an open door policy. They can come in and out of our um, class, in and out of our offices anytime they need to and um, talk to us about questions. They may not even know where a classroom is and we'll just run and take them there. They have our cell phone numbers, our email addresses. They can text us 24 hours a day. Sometimes we even catch ourselves running up to campus in the evenings to maybe take somebody something to the dorm. And that's just our commitment to the students. We go above and beyond to help them with whatever they need. Yeah, it, it can be an intimidating process yeah, for students. Uh, incoming freshmen in particular, uh, many it's the first time they've been away from home. Mm -hmm. uh, even those that maybe are commuting. Mm -hmm. uh, it's still, it's a transition and it can be intimidating and I think uh, that just goes to further prove that UPIC is a family, mm -hmm. that counselors care enough to yes. find students, to help students with whatever their mm -hmm. needs are, whatever questions they have uh, to ask. We've talked about incoming freshmen. We m mentioned transfers, but let's talk about the transfer process. Okay. If someone's tuned in 
and they weren't happy mm -hmm. after the spring semester somewhere else, wherever it may have been. Maybe their situation has changed, and because of that, they need to look for someone somewhere new. Mm -hmm. They've decided to attend the University of Pikeville this fall, and situation has just changed. Okay. Now, what do I do? I want to transfer. What do I what what do I need to do to transfer to U Pike? Either before or at open registration, they can do that before. What's the transfer process like, and and how difficult is it? Okay, we have an awesome transfer counselor. Her name is Haley Combs. We've talked with Haley. She is super amazing. Um, she answers her phone. No matter what, if it's lunchtime, we're trying to break, oh, that phone rings, she answers it. So she is on call 24-7. She is the first point of contact you would need to get with. Um, and you can email her at haleycombs at upike.edu, and it's H-A-Y-L-E-E. -E. Um, but she is amazing. She will get with you, help you file an application. She will help you get up with your previous college or university and get those transcripts in as well mm -hmm. and then we'll still need a high school transcript along with test scores so it's pretty much like the normal admissions process it's just those transcripts are important for us to get in so we can evaluate them and get those classes in the system so you don't have to take them twice right exactly and I know Haley uh, does great work with mm -hmm. that uh, with comparing courses because many colleges and universities they will have the same course, but it may be called something right. different on mm -hmm. one campus. I know she does a great job of checking uh, course catalogs and comparing yes, the classes does. to make sure that there's no unnecessary duplication mm -hmm. there uh, of those classes. So uh, Haley Combs, that would be your transfer admissions counselor, and she could help you with that process. Again, Haley Combs mm -hmm. at upike.edu. Correct. If you're a transfer student, you need some questions answered. Uh, we've had her on the program before. She is tremendous in helping with the transfer process. Sounds simple enough to me. Mm -hmm. It's it, very simple. If someone has just decided or their situation has just changed, then certainly they can go ahead and, and contact Haley. They could go online yes. and find the information, get the applications started there, and uh, get that transfer completed. UPike's growing. Yes. Every year we talk about that. Mm -hmm. That part we talk about every year, the growth of UPike. Mm -hmm. And I know admissions a big part of that because the admissions counselors, mm -hmm. you've been there, you talked about, you've yes. been on the road for six years. Let's talk about the recruiting area okay. for the admissions counselors and who are those folks that are out there uh, beating the bushes and spreading the word of the University of Pikeville? Well, I'm very excited to announce we have two brand new admissions counselors. Mm -hmm. They've been working for about a week. Okay. So they're very excited. They're both um, former U Pike students. We have Brittany Hodge. She was a volleyball player. Mm -hmm. um, and she is more of our I-64 recruiter is okay. what I call her. She's Winchester, Lexington, Louisville, Frankfurt, right. um, those areas. Then we have Sally Adams, formerly Sally Roberts. Yes. And she was a basketball player here. She is going to be doing more of the Bell County, Clay County, um, Harlan, some Virginia schools. And then Sarah Dameron, she's been working with us for a year. Mm -hmm. She does a few schools in Pike County and Mason County, Rowan, McGoffin, Carter. She's sort of all over, Powell, Owsley, Lee. Right. She's here and there. And then, like I said earlier, we have Haley, who she does a little bit of the admissions process. She recruits in Knott County, Perry County, Boyd County, but then she also does the transfer part. She does uh, handle some of the counties uh, from her neck of the woods. Yes, because she a lot does. of the admissions counselors, they come from these mm -hmm. certain regions and uh, have ties there now. So a lot of times when they go into a school, it's a face that's very familiar. Yes, and myself, I recruit as well. Um, I do Pike County, Floyd County, Johnson, Martin, and Letcher. You get to stay a little closer to home, yes. but you have other responsibilities now because you have a new title as Director of Admissions. Yes. You have been out there though. You've been on the road. What's it like? You've got a couple of new admissions counselors. Mm -hmm. What is that? What's that process like? What's it like for a brand new admissions counselor getting out there and talking about the university for the first time during their first year? Actually, they're so excited. They cannot wait to get out and talk with people. They want to tell everybody how much they love the university yeah. and everything UPike has done for them. And I think that's why it's so wonderful to have alumni on your staff. I mean, because everybody has the love and they feel the family atmosphere at UPike. It's easy to sell, honestly. 
three record enrollments mm -hmm. and uh, still unsure about the fall yes. semester this mm -hmm. year Without because open, open registration. Who right. knows? You really have no idea going in right. how many will show up for open right. registration. What do the numbers look like leading up toward open registration? We're really good right now. Um, we've had a lot of students. All the source sessions have been pretty much packed. Yes. And the next two source sessions we have, they're already full. Wow. Yes. So it's, it's gonna be been another, nonstop. Another mm -hmm. exciting semester. Yes. And, and I can see the excitement on your face. You've been an admissions counselor and I know you your your coworkers take a lot of pride mm -hmm. in that. That yes. uh, the university is growing. That's what the admissions staff does, recruit students and then to see that come to fruition. Mm -hmm. You've seen students that you've recruited come through and graduate now. Yes, I have one working for me. I recruited wow. her, Brittany Hodge. That is very, mm -hmm. very special. As an alumna, what do you attribute the growth of the university to? Well, I've been blessed to see it from both sides. I was a student here and now I'm an employee. And I feel just as important as an employee as I did as a student, True. which makes me just know that everything is just so real and there's a deep love here. But I feel like what I attribute to is teamwork. Right. As soon as Dr. Um, Hurley and Governor Patton came on board, their focus was teamwork. And I feel like we have all joined together to work as a team to get students to come to UPike. And when we go out and recruit those students, they feel the love from us and they know that they are number one. And that's, if it's all about the student, then you can't go wrong. Right. And I think that's been a part of our success here. It's not about showtime. No. But it's truly, as alumna, you're able to tell the story yes. from a first-hand experience. Mm -hmm. And I think the students recognize that. They appreciate that. Yeah. Speaking to someone who's been a student, mm -hmm. who has been an employee of the university, but student first, because yes. you're always a student, mm -hmm. then you become an alum of the University of Pikeville. And I think it shows. And mm -hmm. uh, just hats off to the admissions staff. And of course, Gary Justice, yes. who's been a part of that office for several years. Uh, what a tremendous job he's done. And, I know you'll fill his shoes nicely as director of admissions. Open registration, August 15th and 16th. Yes. What time does it start? 8 o'clock. Just if you're an early riser, you like those early classes. Yes. 8 a.m. Thursday. Yes. That's a Thursday, Friday. Uh -huh. Get there early. Yeah. You've said that mm -hmm. you would stay there until the last student left. Yes. But get there early. Uh, you may have to fight through the crowd. Who knows? Yeah. We may have thousands show up That'd for open great. registration. Uh, but certainly you want to get there early, get your fall semester off to a good start. Mm -hmm. And then the first day of classes is when? August 19th. Can't wait. The we'll first be ready with breakfast on the bridge. There you go. Mm -hmm. I'll be by for that. Okay. And if someone has more questions, we've covered a lot on this mm -hmm. program, but if someone has questions about the admissions process or open registration, who, do, who should they contact? Is there a number to call? You can start with the admissions office at 606-218-5251. Or if you want to call in your long distance, 1-866-BEARS-00. I like it. 866-BEARS-00. Mm -hmm. yes. We've been joined by Amber Collins, Director of Admissions at the University of Pikeville. And Amber, congratulations Thank on your you. new title. And we're looking forward to a, a record enrollment again this Thank fall. You. And uh, we may stop by and see you and your staff during the open registration. Okay, I love being around students. It makes me feel yes. young. Mm -hmm. Amber Collins, Director of Admissions, our guest on this edition of Where the 99 Lead. We talk about admissions. We talk about open registration. August 15th and 16th, the dates, 8 a.m. each day in the Armington Learning Center on the University of Pikeville campus. You've been tuned to Where the 99 Lead, a program brought to you by the University of Pikeville. We talk all things regarding the University of Pikeville. I'm Andrew Joyce, your host, the University of Pikeville, the leading University of Central Appalachia.